What is going on guys? Thanks for checking out this video, my sports gimmatria. Yeah. Gonna be looking at some top rank of boxing. Two different matches tonight. Uh, we got Gavanta Davis versus Leo Santa Cruz for some titles, which is gonna be in Texas. And then we got um Neya Anau and Jason Maloney um for the IBF and WBA title. Uh, let's start with Gavanta Davis versus Leo Santa Cruz. I won't take too much time on this. I'm just going to run through it really quick of what I like and what pick I'm going to be leaning towards. But then, um, of course, my final picks will be in writing, italicized and underlined like always. And I'll have an alternative narrative to go with it. That way you guys can decide which 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 side you want to take regardless of what my pick is all right so starting off with Gavante Davis Leo Sante Cruz as you can see I've already underlined Gavante Davis I do like him to win this fight <clears throat> just some basic mathematics here today has 61 date numerology on the Gregorian his nickname El Toremonto sums to 61 it's 283 days till his 33rd birthday. 283 is the 61st prime number. 283 is the 61st prime number. If he loses Leo Santa Cruz, if he loses this fight, he'll become 37-2-1 for a fight record. Let's pop that in here. 37, oops, 37-2-1. 37-2-1 has a square root of 61. So 61 times 61 sums to 3721. And 283 days till his 33rd birthday, the 61st prime number, he can become 3721 with a loss on a day with 61 date numerology for the Gregorian. Uh, happy Halloween. Whoop, whoop. Gavanta Davis. Um, it's 359 days since his birthday, and he can become 24 zero. Why I have that fully marked, 240, 240 sums to 81 and 72. Today with 81 date numerology on the Gregorian, 359 is the 72nd prime number. So he can become 240, 24 zero for a fight record on a day with 81 date numerology. And it would happen 359 days since his birthday, which is the 72nd prime number, 240 sums to 81 and 72. And then we also got the uh, 61 pattern down here for Leo Cruz. And then it's Leo Santa Cruz's 40th fight, 40 sums to 24. And Davis can get his 24th win in a row. Becoming 24-0, like 240, which sums to 81 and 72, 359, the 72nd prime number. So I do like Gavanta Davis here, mostly because of the 61s. And then I do like the 72 connection that goes along with the 81. So we got 61 and 81 date numerology for this matchup. So we go down here to Neyo Anu. I'm going to go ahead and mark him because I do like him to win. Uh, if you've seen my pick for UFC, I've already talked about this. You've already seen my post for UFC as well for Anderson Silva. 200 sums to 132 and 138. This uh, being the 13th day of the second month on the Hebrew today, like 132. The 13th day of the eighth month on the Hebrew, like 138. Neo can become 20 and 0, like 200 with a win today, or tonight anyway. 200, 132, 200, 138, 132, 138, 200. It's 204 days since his birthday. Anu versus Maloney sums to 204. Neo can get his 20th win in a row as Jason Maloney gets, ends his four fight win streak like 204 like 204 204 days since his birthday i knew and first malu equals 204 he can get his 20th win 
Jason would end his four fight win streak like 204. It's 71 days till Jason's upcoming 30th birthday, and 71 is the 20th prime number. Nao looking for his 20th win in a row. So that's what I'm kind of liking right now, Nao and uh, Davis. This is my pick preview video, so I'm going to write this all out. I'll do alternative narratives. I'll give a narrative for Leo, Leo Santa Cruz, and I'll give a narrative for Jason Maloney to win as well. That way you guys can decide for yourself which one you like the best. Uh, but I just wanted to make this quick, short video uh, to give you an idea of, of what I'll be posting here in a couple hours. <clears throat> Thanks, guys.